can see I have zero makeup on and that is because I wanted to do my makeup on camera with you so you could see what I was doing. I haven't done an everyday makeup look. I'm not gonna say tutorial because as we all know, all I do is put my makeup on and ramble away to camera. Not necessarily um, the way that you're supposed to do it, but this is the way I like to do it. And you guys really like these videos, so I wanted to do another one. I haven't done an updated everyday makeup look for a really long time so I felt it was about time I did that and I'm really enjoying a lot of the makeup that I'm using at the moment so I really wanted to film this video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is popping on my foundation. So the foundation I have been using and absolutely loving at the moment is the Rimmel Lasting Finish. This promises to last for 25 hours. Now I can't say I've actually worn it for 25 hours because I put my makeup on in the morning and I take it off at night um, so I can't say that that works because I've not tested that but I absolutely love it I love the coverage I love how it feels on the skin and it is a full coverage foundation so avoid if you don't like that but I am loving this at the moment also the brush I am using is the Sigma round kabuki I really like using kabuki brushes just because I like to kind of buff it into the skin rather than like stroke it on um, and this is my kabuki of choice. As you can see, my skin is already looking a lot more even, but I do still wanna put on some concealer. So on my blemishes, I'm gonna put the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and under my eyes, I'm gonna go for the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Get a sneeze. Ah, you. Ah, you. Oh, bless you. Now to wake myself up a little bit and pop some of the concealer under my eyes. I kind of bring it down from the kind of inside of my eye down towards the, the top of my cheekbone and then up my cheekbones. I just find that kind of works. Um, and then I just blend it in. Again, just using the same, same kabuki. Now that I look far more awake, i.e. have absolutely no dimensions to my face whatsoever, I am going to powder the powder I've been really liking at the moment is this one, it's by, it's by, by Terry um, and it's the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. It's really, really fine so I find that it goes on my skin really nicely. Oh gosh, I've dropped it all over my jeans. I'm just going to use this brush which is the Sigma Blush F92. Do a little bit of dab in and a little bit of that. I am going to very lightly sweep this in any areas where I find that my makeup goes a little bit patchy first or I can sometimes get a little bit oily throughout the day which is generally my T-zone. I also like to do a little sweep under the eyes just to set my concealer um, and then I kind of find that it lasts a lot better throughout the day. Next up is bronzer. It's January, everyone's skin looks a little bit invisible, a little bit pale, um, so I think I probably do overdo the bronzer slightly in, in January and December, but um, yes, I am going to use Nars Laguna to do a little bit of contouring, and then I'm gonna use this Guerlain uh, Terracotta bronzer, which you all know I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed with. <laughs> absolutely obsessed with. This adds a little bit of warmth, whereas this is slightly more of an ashy toned blush, so this works well as a kind of contour color. I'm gonna do the overall bronze first, so I'm gonna use the same brush. You'll notice I use a lot of the same brushes. I don't know if that's bad or not, but I mean, they all do the job, don't they? <laughs> I'm just kind of taking this across my forehead and on top of my cheeks and down by my jaw. Also, don't forget to take it down your neck slightly because if you've put a lot of bronzer on your face, you don't want a different color face to your neck, so try and tie it all in. There we go. I mean, I'm not trying to look like I've been on holiday for a week, but I do just want to add a little bit of colour because I just think it makes me look a bit more healthy, you know? Now I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of contour. I'm not going to do this too much, um, but I like to just do it slightly. So this is a Maestro 24 brush. It's kind of like a fluffy contour brush. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here. Tapity tap. May have gone slightly overboard there. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay, there we go, slight bit of contour. Now it's time for the blusher. 
I am using the Bourjois Rose Door Golden Rose Blush. This is a beautiful, slightly shimmery uh, blusher with some kind of gold running through it. It's very, very pretty. So I'm gonna pop a little bit on my brush. This is the Maestro 143. I really like Maestro brushes. They're incredibly soft and really, really lovely to use. A little bit of color, much better. And the last thing I'm gonna put on my face is this, which is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This is incredible. I am obsessed with this. I placed a fairly large order on Cult Beauty and this was in it because I hear a lot of people talking about the Becca highlighters and how amazing they are. So I wanted to give it a go and honestly, it's amazing. I'm gonna put a little bit of eye primer on. I have got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Anti-Aging Edition. Not that I feel as though my eyes are sagging already, but you know, where you can prevent it, you should. I am not looking forward to getting baggy eyes. I'm really not. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said this before, but if you don't have an eyeshadow primer, I would strongly suggest you invest in one. There's quite a lot of different brands that do them. Um, but I just find it really makes a very huge difference with how your eyeshadow applies and how long it lasts. And also um, how it looks. I just feel like it looks a lot nicer when you've got an eyeshadow base. And if you don't have one, you should get one. I've been doing this like every day for the past two weeks. However, with eyeshadow, I kind of vary it up quite a lot. I have a doggy clawing at my legs. Do you want to come up? Do you want me to do your makeup? Oh, you're so needy, aren't you? I haven't finished yet, don't lick my face. Just done it. <laughs> no. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by a snorting furry black dog, <laughs> is that I use kind of a variation of different eyeshadows every day. There's not really one go-to eyeshadow look that I'll do. Um, I kind of mix it up quite a lot because I've got a lot of eyeshadows. Um, but one palette that I have been using quite a lot is this one, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. Um, it's called Chocolate Bar, um, and it has lots of really lovely kind of neutral um, shades in it, which obviously are kind of my go-to shades. I'm gonna go hazelnut, which is this gorgeous color here. It's kind of like a bronzy color. Um, don't worry if this part is messy, by the way. I'm aware I look really freaky right now, but this bit doesn't need to be particularly neat. I mean, that's what I tell myself anyway, because you can just use a blending brush and make it look so much better at the end. I'm also gonna take another little brush. These are the Maestro brushes again, and I'm gonna take that color underneath. We don't all need to hear you cleaning yourself. Thank you very much. My eyes definitely look slightly terrifying right now. I'm gonna use Hot chocolate. Oh no, this is semi sweet. Semi sweet, which is, oh, I can't, can't even see, which is this shade. I'm gonna take that in me crease. I always like to have a lighter color in the corners of my eyes, so I'm going to use Marzipan, which is this gorgeous kind of pinky champagne color. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in the corners. Now I'm gonna fill in my brows with my trusty MAC Charcoal Brown. Um, and I also dab a little bit of this one in too, because my brows are kind of dark. Right, brows, let's do this. Let's have ya. Using a little angled brush, this is the Sigma Small Angle E65. Thought my hand was bleeding then, that was really weird. I was like, oh my God, no, no blood there. Just going crazy. I feel like I've done quite well at growing my eyebrows out slightly. Okay, my brows are done. I am very happy with them. I'm also gonna put a little bit of nylon under my brow just to give it a little bit of cheeky highlight because you can never go wrong with a little bit of cheeky highlight. Boop, 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 boop. It's also nice to kind of blend into the brown because then it kind of makes it less harsh. I'm obsessed with this brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. It's so big and so fluffy and I love it. I'm just not sure doing makeup with a runny nose is that attractive. 
my nose is like running. It's like a tap. I'm like having to edit out lots of me like sniffling with tissues. Next up is a little bit of mascara. This is my favorite bit because I just feel like this completely transforms the whole look. And I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, of course. Um, I found one in extra black. I don't know how much more black this is than the black one, but um, it looks extremely black and that's cool because I like black mascara. Also can't get this off, so I managed to get it off the top, can't get it off the bottom, so <laughs> I've just got like cellophane wrap around my mascara. And I've got back to black stuck in my head. Side note, that album is one of my fave albums of all time. Lashes are donezo. Next up are my lips. Now I've been going crazy for neutral lip at the moment, or a nude lip, um, and this one came in my PO box and I thought it looked really, really lovely and I have been wearing this for about a week. And it is the Wild About Beauty Lip Pencil Duo in 01 Fiona. Um, it comes with the big kind of uh, lip pencil on one end and then a liner on the other end. So I line my lips with this side and then I fill it in with this one. And that is the finished look. I really hope you like it. I'm pretty much obsessed with it, hence why I've been doing this every day for like the past two weeks. Also, if there are any other looks that you would really like me to attempt to do for you, then please let me know. I really love filming these videos um, and I love showing you guys the makeup I've been wearing and the makeup that I've been loving, so let me know. I will leave a link to everything I used in the description box, so make sure to check that out. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next week. Bye! Oh. Oh. Stop! Hello. Gow! No, it's not lasting fresh, it's lasting finish. I feel like my camera might stop recording. Will it? No. Is it gonna? No. Oh, I don't know. I'll zoom you out. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Say bye, puppy! Say bye, puppy! Bye!